sorry. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as Chiara said, uh, my name is uh, Roberta. I work at the ADF, European Disability Forum, as a project officer. I just changed the team yesterday in the policy team. I just, um, I, I've been in maternity leave for five months. Now I'm back just yesterday. Um, and uh, we, we are very happy to, to be here because as a European Disability Forum, we are very keen to uh, promote accessibility at every level. In particular, I'm really, I'm really happy because I used to, to be here because I used to collaborate for many years with the UNA, with the equality body in, uh, in Italy. Uh, and representing um, a network, a youth network against discrimination. Uh, I give the floor to Loredana and then we can start with the training. Good morning, this is Loredana. I'm really glad to um, see so many of you here. And um, yeah, my uh, introduction is still up to date. Um, uh, just to let you know that I'm almost blind, so I'm using some assistive technologies, a screen reader. I will do something. You can hear it. <laughs> um, I have also a braille display, so that's another. Um, it's like a screen where it comes in braille, but it's a small image in just one row. I see four characters at uh, at a time so it's like if you see sometimes you have on um, now in windows when you are going through your document the cursor it underlines a little bit with a little bit of green so imagine something like that uh, with the, with a braille screen reader what I can see um, I can touch uh, see touch at a t at the time so maybe that uh, that was uh, important. And if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the chat or um, and we will answer them. And yeah, I hope um, that you will find useful and don't hesitate. Um, every question is important and it has uh, its sense. Thank you. Thank you, Loredana. As Loredana said, um, Let's have a discussion today. If you have uh, any any questions, you can use the chat box or also during the demonstration, Loredana's uh, demonstration, you can raise your hand and ask questions. Um, it, right, it writes, you make a mistake, all questions are valid. And I probably, you, um, no one requested accessibility um, re requirement, but if you need the captions, uh, Zoom provides automatic captions if you need. So let's get started introducing accessibility. So when we talk about accessibility, sometimes um, we think that it's too complicated or it's too uh, difficult to understand, too technical or too expensive. Um, it's not totally true because uh, accessibility, you don't need to be an ex expert of accessibility to make um, your document or PowerPoint or your communication um, accessible. Definitely you as a organization or institution um, need to uh, commit to accessibility, you need to invest time, a little bit uh, money sometimes, but accessibility can be uh, very, um, um, can be can be done for um, by everyone, and I think this sentence can explain why is important accessibility. Why we need to make everything accessible, because it's it's all about making something um, easily for everyone, available for everyone, for as many people as possible. It benefits, for, of course, people with disabilities, but it benefits everyone. Um, as I said, it might be difficult sometimes to, or too technical and when we talk about accessibility, it's a huge word. Uh, for that, um, you can consult these uh, guidelines called WCAG for people mainly um, who work in, in communication or work in the web development. Um, this, this guide guidelines are really, really important. So we don't reinvent uh, the, the wheel, so we don't reinvent anything. There are some guidelines developed by the World Wide Web Consortium. Um, 
there are some recommendations and um, this that these guidelines provide a framework of um, uh, how to make the web content more accessible for people with disabilities. So if you need extra information, if you need um, details, how to make a videos, how to make the website more accessible or document PowerPoint, you can consult these kind of guidelines. It might be too technical, but if you need um, a strategy or um, kind of standards resources, you can click on the on the website that you can download these guidelines and they are quite um, they are quite good. Uh, you don't need to go in details, but if you need um, I don't know uh, any, any information how to make the videos or um, the audio accessible, you can consult the guidelines. Um, today we're going to introduce um, the accessibility for digital materials. Uh, when we talk digital materials, uh, we talk about Word document on PowerPoint. We use everyday PowerPoint and um, Word document. And but why is important to make these digital materials accessible? It's important because Mm, it's not obvious, but it benefits individuals, society, businesses, the entire society. And let's remember that equal access to information, regardless of ability, is a human right. So it's, uh, it's important, it's essential that all individuals fully participate in society. We, we forget sometimes that because for, for us it's obvious, but it's not. And also um, for the technical part, accessible document and PowerPoint, um, also social media accessibility can be can be read using of, um, of a variety of assistive technologies, uh, for instance, um, screen readers. So Loredana will show you today how the screen readers work when we make um, a document accessible or when we make a document a document not accessible. Um, why um, we need uh, to make the checklist to simplify everything. Uh, we advise uh, people to have a checklist. And the first question you have to ask yourself when you make any kind of content, not just the PowerPoint or Word document, any kind of uh, content uh, for social media or report, try to think about that, question yourself and say, is my document or content or information is accessible to all people you might use it? If the answer is not, we need to consider this kind of element. So there are kind of very simple elements that you, you don't need uh, money to, to, to buy anything. You, don't, you just need to commit and you just need time to consider this kind of element. The first element you have to consider is to make the content accessible. And I'm going to show you an example. And we need to consider the headings, the style, the font size and the structure of your content. And also um, we need to use, when you use images or pictures, we need to add alternative text. This is, um, it's important for Word document, PowerPoint, and also for social media on Twitter as well. Meaningful hyperlinks, we use links every day, also in the emails, we need to um, make them meaningful. You need to check the color contrast and the, um, the main important things is also start accessibility from the scratch. If you consider this, uh, this kind of element all the time, when you start a uh, material, you can start accessibility from the scratch, from, this, from the beginning, because um, sometimes it's very, it's very easy to create a PowerPoint presentation, and then at the end, we check if it's accessible or not. If we consider this kind of element, you can make the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation accessible from the start. Let's, um, uh, let's see how we can make the, the content accessible is sometimes it's difficult to make the content accessible, especially when we create a report, when we, we have to write about, I don't know, artificial intelligence, we, we use a very complicated terminologies. Let's remember that we should explain all the time what we are uh, right. 
um, you're going to see tomorrow how to make easy to read um, document as well. So it's important to make the content accessible because we need to consider the audience. The audience need to be able to fully engage and learn from the content you are creating. That could be the report, that could be social media, and think about that you are creating the content for the audience and not for yourself. I used to work in communication and sometimes we don't think about the audience. We just think about ourselves. We understand and that's it. We need to really, the, the first thing is to think about the audience. Um, I put just an example here about the, the, the PowerPoint presentation because it's the most, sometimes it's difficult with PowerPoint because we want to put everything in the slide, um, but less is more. So uh, for instance, try to, when you create the PowerPoint, try to do not overcrowd the slide with text, use bullet point. When you use bullet points, you have time to explain um, verbally. Uh, because it, it can be too distracted with uh, with audience for the audience. Also, we need to use a clear, concise language. Um, when the terminology is too difficult, always explain what does it mean. And then also support text with images. That's an example for PowerPoint presentation. Um, another element we have to consider is the fonts and sign, uh, size uh, fonts. There is a checklist. So the guidelines um, recommend to use 12 point or larger for um, a Word document. For PowerPoint, you can use also 22 or 24. Um, we're using today 20, 22. Um, we need to be consistent with fonts. You can't start with one font with, um, I don't know, Helvetica and start with Verdana, but be consistent during the document. Using um, italics or uppercase letter for, emph uh, for emphasis is not recommended. Sometimes we use, especially for um, social communication, we use uppercase and it kind of means shouting, something like that, but for, um, in terms of accessibility, it's better, you can use bold to emphasize something, but don't use italics or uppercase because it can be not clear and distracted. And the main point is to use the right fonts. Sometimes for us, it's, uh, it's very, we, we don't mm, pay attention about the font, but it's important to use uh, sans serif fonts because they are are considered more accessible. I will show you why. Um, there is a little difference between serif fonts and sans serif fonts. So serif fonts, they have the small features on, on the end of the strokes. It's like a um, decorative uh, line at the end of the stroke. And when we use serif fonts, sometimes can be very distracting and also for the screen reader is not, um, is not accessible, but we need to use the, um, the clear font. It, they are called sans serif fonts like Verdana, Arial, Calibri, or Helvetica. They don't have decorative line, so they are more clear and less distracting. Um, I, I just forgot to, um, to say something about uppercase. So the uppercase, we don't need to use uppercase because the screen readers, uh, Loredana will show you, sometimes can read uh, them out letter by letter. So, and um, um, it's not the, um, it doesn't um, read out the letter, uh, sorry, the entire word, but just the letter by letter. Loredana will, will show you later. Another element which is really, really important are headings and the structure of the document. When we have the content, when we have accessible content, we need to give the structure. We know when we create a report or um, social media post, we have the title and we have the subtitle, we have the content. So we need to give a good editing structure because um, for the screen reader, they are more accessible. So um, editing, first of all, provide the organization of the content uh, within the document. And also 
when you give the headings, I will show you what, um, what I mean. The screen readers also give users the ability to navigate a document using the, um, the headings, as long as the headings are organized properly. So, um, for instance, when we have the title, we need to um, we need to click uh, uh, addings addings one adding one sorry which usually is that the adding one is the title adding adding two is the subtitle. Um, you, we don't need to create anything if you the addings are available under the style um, the the styles in the in the home tab of the ribbon. Now is it two is, is a theory, but Loredana will show you. Um, and usually we have from adding one to adding six, and, um, and you can use adding one, adding two, adding three um, to six. You can verify the structure of the adding um, when you go to view, navigation pane, and uh, this pane can show you the different session you create. So the title, the subtitle, and the content. And why is important? Because the pay, this pane also allows uh, users to navigate to any session of the document. And Loredana will show you. Um, another important tips, um, tip is to um, use the um, text alignment. So when we, um, we usually, I used to do it um, years and years ago, I used to justify the text of my report, of my article, but it's not correct. Um, we, we can't um, justify, we can't justify the text because when we justify the text, we create space be between one and one word to another. And the screen readers can uh, read it out um, this space with a very difficult sound or difficult, um, difficult word. And also we have to use this, this is more for um, um, distracting, let's say, uh, tip. So we need to use a one point fine spacing uh, between lines and can make the document more uh, readable. Otherwise too crowded is, um, is too, um, how do we say, yeah, crowded. It's not really, really clear for, for people, um, for everyone, to be honest. So let's remember to do not justify the, the text. Another element we have to consider, that's more for, for, for um, Word document, it's not really needed because usually we use black and white colors. Uh, colors, uh, but we need to consider um, very good adequate color contrast for the background, especially when um, when you create an infographic or when you create a banner for the event, you need to consider, you need to use the right colors. You can maintain the colors of your, I don't know, of the organization, for example, but we need to um, make the, the text and the background with high, very high color contrast. There are some examples here of, of some reports that we, we had to, um, I corrected actually this report, the, the, some info, infographic. When we, we have the white background and the number in white, we can't see anything. So it's important to put it in, in black or in another color. So it, this is, it's important for everyone. And um, um, here is an example of uh, good high co contrasting colors. So we have, for instance, back, yellow background and black um, uh, written uh, letters and a poor low contrasting color. There are two websites if you need to check if your color contrast is, um, is adequate and um, is in requ request the, the, the minimal requirement, sorry. There are two websites that you can consult, but this is more for people that are creating, maybe that you work in communication and you are creating banners or uh, banners for social media or infographic, you can consult those two uh, websites. They're very simple to use, but um, let's remember that um, 
you can also you can also check yourself if you if you have doubts you can check these two websites or, or otherwise you can you can check yourself is uh, is a poor poor color contrast um i think i give the floor to loredana and uh, loredana will show you will demonstrate what i what i said basically i know sometimes it's, uh, it's too um verbal and we can't really understand what uh, what we mean but loredana will show you how the the screen readers the screen reader work and what we mean when we don't don't we don't know put the headings or we use poor color contrast um Loredana, I think yes. uh, you can... Thank wait. you very much. If you can stop, stop sharing, sharing right? your screen, mm -hmm. because I will share mine. Okay. So, perfect. Select the window or application. The sharing options, let screen tab. Share sound checkbox and slash tab. Select sharing sound tone button menu. Press space to activate the menu. Then navigate with arrow. So... Alert. Share preview tab. Document one alert. You have started screen share. Press F6 to switch between open uh, room windows. Wait. Edit. Alt tab alert. Live trans. Alt tab. Documents for training. Alt tab. Erasmus plus final okay. text of the regular. So, I have opened a document. Alert. Um, I'm working on youth a lot. And this is a document I really needed. So, it is from the website uh, of the commission parliament i don't know who is uh, handling this it is called eurolex it's where you find all legislations in progress and this is the final text of the erasmus plus program um, for mobility of uh, students staff young people uh, sport uh, several and the final text it has, uh, yeah, clearly the articles of, of the law, the preamble, which uh, uh, explains uh, the program, why it, it was made, and so on. And this is a 300 and something pages document. And the first thing that tells you for uh, those who can see, if you are looking uh, your uh, to the... Um, screen so you alert. have the zero, zero. on the right alert. side excuse me because you will hear all the interactions on zoom <laughs> um that's something we didn't manage to um to stop yet um but what i want to say so on the right side you have the document and on the left side you have a panel i'm moving my mouse around where you should have the structure of the document. And as you see here, there is nothing. So I'm opening this document and I will try to- I, left parent legislative acts, right parent. Legislative acts, normally it's in the middle. It's a title. I don't hear anything. Regulations. Regulations. Regulation left parent EU right parent Regulation of twenty establishing a rather left the European Parliament and the count having their have, have, have acting in the where left parent one right parent investing in learning mobility for so all. This regardless. is one. And in fact it's a list because when I go more down, it will come one, two, three. But in fact, again, it's not indicated such. And you can imagine when I want to go to Article 16 of this document, I would have to read from here to the end because there is no other way for me to do it. Because I'm not working with a mouse, only now to, to show you, but I'm going with a... Um, Left parent legislative acts right with the parent. arrows down. So yeah, I can go also with page down. And official journal. And, of and official. But it goes only half of page or control shift. I Selected think. and official journal um, of the European Union. Um, Twenty-eight point five point two. I can go also two. by page, but not faster. And then I even don't know where I am if I don't go to hear what it tells me. 
So for a 300 and something pages document, it's really essential to have this correctly. And this is a document from the commission and all of them, like what is on Eurolex, they are like that. Luckily, the strategy for inclusion and diversity, the, the guidelines for inclusion and diversity strategy, they made it correctly. So I will show you. Adobe Acrobat Scout. I will show you what is a correct tab. Close current tab. Close current tab. I left. So now I'm in another document. It's a document created by EDF. Um, I don't know why I don't have the panel with the um, structure, but in any case, when I'm going. Volunteers with disabilities within the new European Solidarity Corps, left parent, escape right parent, heading level one. Do you hear volunteers of blah blah heading one? MC ref guide for sending organizations, heading level two. Guide for organizations, it's heading level two. MC ref table of contents, heading level three. Table of contents, heading level three. MC ref acronyms, heading level three. Heading level three acronyms. And so it says MC before. I don't know why, but that's so normally when I open, I have, I push a certain key command. Headings list view. MC you see a list of headings. Of contents, colon three, three of 29. And I can go now if I want. MC, MC ref one. Inclusion and Disability Awareness, colon 2. I go to Inclusion and Disability Enter. Awareness. Heading level you 2 see? graphic, uh, heading level 2, 1. Inclusion and preparing an inclusive attitudinal environment as a starting point. So this is why it's important because that allows um, me to navigate. If I'm, if I'm going back to the other document, I will go immediately back and I will show you. But look also at this. Um, I will open it afterwards. Oops. So. All tab. Av document main blank. Blank. Alt tab. Jaws profile. Alt tab. Document one dash word. Alt tab. Screen sharing meeting control. Alt tab. Documents for training. Okay. Documents for. RR underline the 25. Euro dash C, sorry, Erasmus plus I'm opening again the Erasmus plus document. I'm sorry, I closed because I forgot to show you. So. Erasmus plus final text of the regulation select I'm alert. going Pro here to do again, to do the same key command. No headings found. No headings found. It will even not open it to me. So in a 300 and something pages document, there are no headings. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable, isn't it? And it's full of because they just put uh, used uh, larger characters and they put it in the middle. It's it's not we are not using a typing machine, but a computer where um, each um, movement has a sense. Okay, then we spoke about. Uh, contrast. Close document window. Erasmus plus final text of the regulation. C. S. Cap. Alt tab. Euro. Up the 25. Enter. I want to show you here a document. It was in a project we were part of. And it was the made. The 25% dash report dot PDF dash Adobe S. Cap. The 25%. So that's nice. All is good. Fantastic. Again. But I'm coming to a point where even that goes. Yeah, okay, here. I suppose you immediately see, yeah, that there is a communication logic behind because we have higher, we are using these colors. But 
this combination, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because there is not enough contrast there. And it would have been better uh, for the title maybe to use all the time uh, just um, black or maybe use like here, it's higher with the background. You, you make a uh, background where you have the title, use those colors and then use the the black because with the pink it still worked but then if they would use also the yellow yellow on white that's totally um not okay so then i'm Close going to window. show you something else that Roberta explained. Document one dash word. Document one so I don't remember, I think you didn't say Roberta, but what is very important, listen now. Maybe you hear that my screen reader changed a little bit to a different voice. It is the French one. And it's very important to make sure that you have the language on the good one when you are writing your document. You go into um, review. So I am already there, but I, meeting not for I think it's shoot here. So document it, one dash word. Uh, you have language and there you can but i can't go now lower it yeah. one is yeah. you see language dialogue the speller another english left french left so i go english. change to english and now you will understand selected Oops. Lower ribbon, set leaving menus, language dialogue, the speller and English left pair in the United States right pair. No. Tab, English tab, detect tab, set as the tab, OK button, okay. to pass. Print so you now, nothing about US without US, we are happy to be with you today. But still a problem. Nothing about US without US. <laughs> it's funny um, because, yeah, why? Now, if I'm writing... Blank. We are happy to welcome you. Blank. Nothing about U.S. without U.S. Blank. Enter. But now, if I'm writing... Enter. Nothing about us without us. Do you see the difference? But now, if you really want to use the Blank. uppercase... Enter. You can still do it. Blank. Nothing about us selected. Nothing about us without but us. But then Code. you go to font dialogue, font tab, tab, font color, call tab, underline style, colon tab, strike through check tab, effects tab, effects tab, effects subscript check tab, effects small caps check tab, effects all caps check tab, fast check. See? And tab. then. Effect tab to act tab. This is the bot tab to activate tab to activate press tab. Font tab to switch pages. Press control tab. All that. Print so view, now, edit, blank. Nothing about us without us. I think it's all our. I changed it. All our caps and now it's reading correct. Because you don't. It's just a question of style. It's the type of letter you are using. So you didn't use really from the computer because if you indicate uh, the, the, the computer, um, you are using this shift to make or you put the cap locks on, caps lock on, then the computer understands you are using uh, all caps letters, so all capitals, and it has a certain um, meaning because for this us it's not the word us but it's the word united states but if you want just to make it for the beauty of the text to use um caps then go and use better the the, the other option because then it's an attribute it means 
it's a characteristic I want to give to my document. It's not a grammatical or a semantic meaning. So this is why um, it's, um, it's important. So I think, um, I, I don't know, Roberta, if you wanted me to do something else about justified, I will tell oh, yeah. you now. Yes, I will tell you the truth because um, as I said now, I, I used, I typed here another phrase with caps and it read me correctly because yeah, as, as in a language or in everything, you know, um, things are progressing. And now the computer knows also, so it was adapted that not all, so when you are using even uppercase, it will read correctly, but not all the time, as you see, because if I put now, I'm going, when, when, when. No, let me see, is it going to read me the same? I and drive. No, that's okay. Sometimes I have on the phone that instead of uh, I have a pen drive of six gigabyte instead of six gigabyte, it will re read me Great Britain. So it's it's also uh, questions of settings. How how much you you have in. Um, a dictionary, but the truth is I didn't find any more um, because when you are using justified text, um, it read like it didn't see where a word starts and ends. And now I see that the computer is learning, but you still, I advise you not to use it, not only because of the screen reader, but also for people um, who have um, reading uh, print, disab uh, print disability, so reading dyslexia or attentional uh, difficulties. It's really difficult, especially when you have only three words in a row because you justify them. One will be in the middle, the other um, at the end and in the beginning. They will have difficulties to keep the line and uh, being able to read. So even if this is not the case and depending also sometimes you may use a, a program and making leaflets or whatever and it can give um strange way uh ways of of, of reading and this is why it's important also not to not to use um the justified we had a question, Lorizana, yes, which I think please. should be directly for you about uh, using Control plus F to find words. Yes. Does that work for the screen reader? Can you use that? Yes. Function? Yes. Let me. Adobe Acrobat Reader left parent 64. RR under newsletter exam guidelines gas zero newsletter example September ENB guidelines gas zero guidelines eight point gas I will open it again it works normally yes guidelines so. gas post qualif find edit type and text I L I I Greg enter yeah find edit disability find edit disability you see I'm already on the first, yeah, it works. Escap. And uh, um, this comes to also have a clear answer to the question, one of the last questions regarding graphics. So alt text, as we call it, what is it? It is a short description of a picture, graphic, um, or icon, or, or any decorative, whatever you use. Um, and it provides uh, textual information for um, visual content. So this, how to do it. I will show it also in right, but you click the right button. So you place your mouse on 
the picture. I will show it directly, if not, Roberta. You want to show directly? I just stop sharing the screen and then you can yes. do it. Yeah? Stop sharing. Okay. Slash Belgium bus stop screen. Share screen. Alt plus S button to activate. Tab. Share sound check fast. Not check. Fast check. Check because it was already it it's intelligent this zoom. It retains that I was Alert, you have started strat tab, al al tab, you wrote al 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 tab, document one dash word, so, dot alert. While we were in break, I just took a picture and I put it in the alert participant documents pain and line. So now if you click on the so I I put my mouse context menu to navigate right. press up or down it leaving me menu change leaving send to back link split menu save as pic insert caption dot wrap text sub view all text dot 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 a view all text or here you leaving can also menus, change page, it. description edit type and text lang um where is it now Document one context menu. Check leave link menu save insert cap wrap text view all text dot 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 size and position view all leaving no menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally and why I don't see it. Graphic calendar description automatically generated uh, nine. Yeah, it's automatic generated the description. Yes. So question land six of pender a i land land <laughs> land land I have a pendrive of six GB unselected graphic calendar I have a graphic calendar description of Mikasil five pair sir synonyms read trans leaving menu new comment land menu cut on a copy leaving menus paste options tape yeah, I want in any case for, for, for I wanted to put the menu, text new here. comment, blank, leaving menu, but I don't know if yeah, it's a text menu on, on the right. You you open the alternative text and the little box edit, change, you open the print, already. Link, save us, insert caption. I opened it already. Ah, yes, menu. but it's on the let me see. Yeah, exactly there. Okay. Open text. So now with my um. This so, automatically. So, what do you see here? So we would say these are uh, on a, I suppose it's a table and I would put uh, oh, on a table uh, 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 leaflet of the European Accessibility Act. And that's it, and it will read me. Document. And now when I go again, I go higher into my document. We are blank, nothing about blank, nothing of blank. I have a pen drive of graphic on the table leaflets of the European Accessibility Act 9. Fit. You see, that's uh, what it tells me. And I will show you immediately how it is when um, you don't have um euro dash i have here so the title of the document is uh, it's read in spanish as you have heard again so why again the importance of language euro CEO candidate when we had elections graphic Tres. Graphic tres. So it's graphic 13. But what it is, I don't know. So I need, this is why we would have need here. Euro dash two candidate for EDF election graphic. graphic. Again, 28, graphic 28. So the first one was the logo. Uh, and it could have been just written Euro CU. Sorry, Irvin and Dash Scarbo. And for graphic. Or what you can do, it's also just indicate. Uh, I don't remember, Roberta, is it possible to indicate here in Word? I think so, that it's um, decorative. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Just a so, mark as a decorative. And... Exactly. And then 
when you mark that it will just i will show you afterwards also it will just show it will just go next to it it won't say anything because here you rocio we have it already in the text so i would just indicate it and also for sorry her graphic for it graphic it's the picture of sari sorry Irvin and, and then afterwards Scarbo. you have sari hirvon and scarbo so here i would have just indicated on sari's picture decorative because it's just to um, show uh, as Shari, but you don't need, because I have the information of her name, so it doesn't bring me any extra information. Association, Pure Cockley, Disability, Deaf Country, colon, Finland, Personal, I was operated I, by my family, my eldest, without, I am fly under graphic, graphic. Again. Motivation for a posit list bully wim movit and per use bull there at growing so it's similar mess period list and graphic. So all the graphics here and why you have numbers because it will take the name of the file. Now, for example, if you have given to your picture uh, a good name, what I'm always doing personally because I don't see them afterwards, and maybe also when when you you will not remember after years, or you are working in your organization and you find photos from 2015 back, you you will not know what they were. So if you give a proper name, I don't know demonstration um, in Brussels in front of the Parliament about uh, equal rights and put the date if i put that picture it's it's even helpful then it it will um i will know at least what it is about even though um it it will not tell me i will not know what is on the picture do i see demonstration banners do i see people do i see so sometimes it, it depends what is about Alert. The, the graphic, joined the meeting. which is the it's it's meaning if you really need to um to name it. Uh, let me show you something else. Alt get the uh, Microsoft Word document Alt tab document Alt tab. Ah yes, here. Document let me one see if I Word, try to document. move this. Oops. Um, I have here the um, Alt text pane, and. I don't see it here now, but I'm just wondering. Alert. Con. I'm just leaving link split button. Insert caption, wrap text, view all text, dot leaving menu, page, ah, yes. description, so edit on the table, leaflets of the European type. You see, I have make as. And then. I will even not need make as mark as decorative, check mark box, as decorative. Check, check. and then I will go again on my document. Blank. Nothing Ooh. about us with blank. I have a pen drive of graphic decorative nine fifty six centimeters. Yeah, I don't know why it tells me decorative. Yeah, it it announced me decorative, but normally on the web when you do it, it doesn't tell you anything, and it shouldn't. Tell me, I don't know here why it still tells me something. Maybe if I have empty in the alt all text tab. in Word, it's still sometimes alt alt tab. weird. Document but... screen sharing me alt 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 tab. Alt 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 documents for training. Docu okay, so Erasmus Euro guidelines got newsletter example. And I wanted to show here again. It's a newsletter. I have. Uh, it's an old one from. Uh, from Europe, but it has no importance. In Just you will see also how. Um, I'm back. Message. So. Table one. Link here. Blank. Link graphic seven. SMA blank. Link graphic. Click here. Blank. Link graphic. Click here to give a donation to Euro Child. So it's graph. Blank. E news bulletin. Blank. I want to have the support. Blank. E news bulletin. Colon Euro. Blank. I want to. Photo courtesy Zara Todd here. I want to blank. E news bulletin blank. I blank. Junker. Ma so I'm going down because you will see it's link children's participation. So yeah. So here again. Blank. 
Link Child Poverty Infographic receives EU award. Blank. Eurochild received an award for its a bl blank. Without a clear it, read the full document. Blank. Link ESPN produces 35 country reports on the recommendation so here, for on investing example, in children. There is a graphic ESPN uh, produces um, what it says. Uh, Eurochild's policy position. Um, and it, it there is a graphic in, in front and it doesn't say anything, so it's marked as decorative. Here with, with this newsletter again, like these are the titles here are not indicated as titles, but they are indeed links that can be useful for navigation because Jaws professional links list dialogue list. links list view ESPN produce social UN general you comment see, when you want to on links. children and street situation when I'm using um, and I can go directly ideal would have been, of course, to, to have them also because they are marked with a different type to have them as a title. Um, but it's it's also okay. So, September, Roberta, we can go back to, your, to the presentation. Yeah, okay. I have explained how to add the alt text. So it is important, as I said, um, you go with the right mouse button or context menu is on the keyboard. You lost your mouse. <laughs> I know you have it on your, um, uh, now with the laptops, you don't really <laughs> need a mouse, but uh, let's say you cannot use it. You have the context menu. It's the button on the right of your space bar. It's called uh, context menu. And if you click, that's really the right mouse button. And there you go and you look to alternative text and there you add it. How to write an alternative text? Describe the content of an image. Never start with image or picture. This is a picture of, I don't, of course, if it tells me JAWS graphic, I know it's a picture, so you don't need to, to say that, but uh, more um, to use uh, keywords. So, um, I don't know if I take um, a go to the next one with the guy, the dog slide, if we still have it, the um, accessibility award. Yeah. So here it's the banner of uh, the accessibility award we, we had. You could just say accessibility award. And it's important because there are some um th there are hashtags so when you have hashtags and you don't indicate those one in the text make sure you include them and we just say access it your word uh 2020 a uh, guide dog um well you can even say if you want a brown guide dog or gold <laughs> whatever it is and uh, hashtag uh, access uh, city a word um, and uh, that's that's it. You can go to the next slide. Hyperlinks. Hyperlinks. Hyper uh, that's Please. now on table. Hyperlinks. Hyperlinks. Very very important. Make your links unique and descriptive names. Keep it concise and clear. Uh, it should be visually distinct, blue and underlined. Avoid words such as click here, read more, learn more, more info. Avoid the word link in your link and avoid also um naked you url uh to to the link like don't put i don't know to register click on the following link uh, uh, colon and then you put the link no never um 
you they, they need to have a link because as I told you, you, you saw before that list of link and I will show afterwards uh, if you want. So it's important that you have clearly. So when you are sending an invitation, Ekinet is glad to, I don't know, invite you to its uh, upcoming conference on uh, equality on employment, on the, yeah, when you give the date. Um, to see the program, click here. No, you would see, you can already consult the program and you made the program link. Um, registrations are open and, and you can put, um, or you can already register and make register as a, as a link or register now. And that's also very good to put, um, often when, when you send now you are using this, um, newsletter, uh, type of email programs. And you have this, uh, you can make it a button register now. Now, the point is, if you have a newsletter and you have several events in the same newsletter, and here is where we have problems with the read more, read more in a newsletter, because when I'm going, I will have, uh, I don't know how many read mores, you know, and I don't know then in my list, which one is this? If I'm reading from A to Z, it's still okay. But if not, then I, I, I'm facing a problem. I know on our previous website, we solved it. It was reading read more. So visually you saw read more, but then it was saying read more and it was indicated in the um, codes at the website that it should read also the title of that article. And it's the same also if you have several events that you are promoting in your newsletter uh, and you will write 10 times register or three times even, I will not, I will not know for w which one is that until I am on the registration page of the event. But it is important if it's like that, then you put register for the conference on equal employment, uh, register for the webinar on equal pay, uh, register for the workshop on um, accessible communication. I know they are longer, but it's the, the essence. You don't need to put on the accessible communication from uh, uh, January 25th at four o'clock. No, that one you will have in the, uh, and absolutely no click here. So that's always what I um, always say. I will go to the tables and I will show afterwards also for the links. Tables. Yeah. I'm just looking next, just to make sure that I am not forgetting anything. Um, okay. So. We are on um, steps to creating accessible tables. Yes, yes. tables, yes. yes, I have it. So um, it, when you create a table, it is important to make a table. Why? Just, I, I haven't said that, but how works this screen reader, for example? And not only the screen reader, but I can tell you better about the screen reader because I'm using, but most of the technologies um, we are making, at least if they are made correctly, um, they, read behind the screens, what is on the code. So um, if you are making a table, you need to make a table. You don't need to draw 
something or to put me make the table and then upload an image of that table because that's not a table anymore it's a graphic and you will see um you you hear all the time my my screen reader it's saying because it's looking at the the, the codes so when you are making the table in the ribbon select insert the insert tab then you select table and then select the number of rows and columns um, by the highlight you know you you have the, the that highlight boxes on on the grid and you will know or you can also indicate you you have a little bit more down clearly you can indicate the number of your rows and columns and then title your tables using the captions tool so don't um th that's that's important because then i will know also it will tell me the name of the table and in the ribbon um select a references tab then select um, insert captions and there you can add this is how you can add the um, title of the table in the pop-up window type the title of the table and then um, in the captions uh, text box and then in the la label text box select table then select uh, okay then click okay um things not to do for sure in a table do not create your table using the draw table tool do not include the title of the table in the first row of uh, of your table and then um for example there are people who are adding in the first row and they uh, how how do you call they put the cells together to make only one cell that's that's not the way um merge to merge cells and then you have one and then you put in the middle of the title no that's for sure not the way you you do it as described before do not create um just uh, you know, pay, um, page layouts with table um for example i i will show you immediately going back to one of my documents um like um you know you have a list uh with countries and then for each of them because i'm sure you have this kind of uh, data and then you have a row country and then you make like a whole column with the countries and in fact it should be a correct table but it's it's not there are no lines in between uh, so no rows not merge or split cells um that's really annoying when when we have this kind of um information if if you you have unequal tables like you have more uh on 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 one column you have only three rows on the next column you have six or 12 and on the other one again you have only one that's really disturbing because i'm lost then in that table and do not um control spacing in your table with blank rows or columns adjust uh, line spacing that's very important so and also before you make a table think is it necessary to have a table of course sometimes you need because this is the only way you can present certain information but think really can you not present it in a different way and then when you really have it and for any purpose you you think that that's the the only way if you can have an alternative 
version of that table for really for people who have difficulties. Um, I'm referring sometimes to, to blind people. You can make um, <coughs> a text version. For example, I know people who are making absolutely their programs in a table. And they put uh, in the beginning, they, they have like the um, table in columns all the days of the week. Let's say it's a five days training. They will have uh, Monday, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And then under also again, but then sometimes, you know, one day starts something earlier and it's so difficult. While you can present simply that information, um in in like you you make with uh headings heading to monday and you indicate the whole program under each other of monday i know um for some people it can be handy because then you have all the program on one page on a table and it's handy you have only that it's handy to keep it if you want but nowadays people are using also their phone so I'm I'm not sure if still that is um, is the best option. So it's a question of how you visualize um, that information. Is it really necessary? And as I said, if it's really necessary, then make sure you have a version also where that information is presented clearer. And then again, why I said splitting cells it can make it difficult and then because then you will have all that thing how should it be read what should be first read this one how how it should go the the focus your your cursor from one cell to the other and th this is um a problem because you with your eye you will go as you wish but when you are dependent on the cursor of the computer, and I'm going with my um, arrows, then I can go only as the program allows me to go. And that is something you can define. But as I said, it's, it's, more, it's more complicated and sometimes it's more technical. And there I say word. Don't forget, Word is not Excel. Word is not to make table. Word is um, a text editor program and not a table editor program. So you need, if you really, that, that's what you need to pay attention. When you are making a document with several types of content, you need to make sure that you are using the, the, the good um, editor like for for word for text of course it's it's a word because you you can make also again i'm going back to other things sometimes you have people who are making registration forms with excel and that's not made for you are making a registration form now you have so many microsoft forms google forms um you have so many and because it has its sense you know if if you want um um to drink uh, fruit juice you will use fruit to make it and you will not use um um i don't know essential oil of um, grapefruit because you want the fruit juice and not um, a water with the taste of grapefruit okay let me go and um uh show you a little bit in with tables. Uh, I'm I'm stop. I'm going to stop the um, sharing the screen. Yes. It's okay, Dorita. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to select the window or an application that you want to share. Share or two of started screen share. Press F6. Okay. Alt tab, JAWS Pro, Alt -al tab, documents for training. Do RR under newsletter example September ENB, we are looking ahead. So I'm going again to and this alert. newsletter. And now see your screen. Because I, I like it. So I said, 
uh, regarding links. September yet B colon we are looking at there are no lists on this page. Um, so I'm going. Alt control set fall. Blank. 11 EU member oh, states, sorry. as well as apostrophe live knowledge alert. Yeah. Sorry. Jaws profession, well being at Euro. So the list of Tier links. 7 SMH 53 PN 6 Z. I don't know. You see, I have already a link that I even don't know what it is. Click here to give a donation to Euro Shot. 7 SMH 53 PN 6 Z. 7 SMH. I even don't know what it is. So it's it's a link that doesn't tell me anything. It may be a graph. It may be I I don't know what it is. Click here to give a donation to your child. Click here to give. A, it it could have been called simply donate to your child. Uh, why do you need it? It's, it's clear if if you go on it. Comments. Social media. Children and poverty. Children's rights. Children on the move, investing in children, children and alternate calls, children's participate events, child poverty info events. Let me see and, uh, events. If I go there, what do I get? Blank. Children and poverty. Blank. Link child poverty infographic receives EU award. You know, Blank. it didn't, you see, it even didn't bring me there. Mm -hmm. Um, the EU might read John Ainsworth's perspective on the annual speech on the state of the European Union and the sixth scenario. Yeah, this is, for example, the read um, what it is. It's it's relevant. Blank. Link focus on children to improve. Blank. The annual state of the Europe has done. Blank. Link dear President Juncker. Blank. Children's Rights Alliance. Blank. Link implement. Blank. The European Commission report explore blank, link co e colon blank. This compilation of best practices on raising a Finland and features blank. Link co e colon school segregation still deprives many children of qual I'll try to go on 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 I'll our get website. The font, Windows M desk Windows M F F S Reader 3.0 F Fire Fender. Stop. Firefox, Mozilla Firefox, navigation, main region, main region end, main region end, page has one region and six links, home page dash European disability forum, JAWS version 2, report discrimination, easy dash to dash red, report so discrimination. So I'm going on the report discrimination. Enter, For example. region, navigation region, report discrimination link, home page dash report discrimination M. Thank you for helping us fight for a more blank. Please be aware that we are not able to the problem. Blank. You can check who you should contact for our political blank. We campaign for member states to adopt a blank. Heading level one statistics. Blank. Here are currently blank. Article. Heading level 128. Numbers of incidents and link blank heading level one twenty one. You see, that's also a, a of way link more details. We present our um, um, results of the report incident. It may not be that um, nice. Blank heading level one three. Number of incidents by rail left pair link more detail blank heading level one three. Number link more detail blank heading level one two. Number of it link more blank heading level one one. Number of it link more blank heading level one one. Number of it link more the blank heading level one. Number of may select a date, select a date, so select this is a date. The form. Select a... So that's also important to ensure you have uh, accessible forms in, in our case. So when I'm reporting. Let me submit an incident submit link. An New incident. incident dash report discrimination so M dash Mozilla Firefox. First name edit. I, Enter. Go, Main I will type uh, L O L D A. -A. Laura Don last name. Last name. Last name. Laura Donna L L D E C S E. Dixie email. So you need to make sure that your um, form is 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 also accessible. And then if I go on our website, how we have for events. 
Matter region. Navigation region. Um, All events link. Events. Events archive. Dash Top. European Disability Forum. M dash Mozilla Firefox. Page has six regions. 64 headings and one European de navigation region. Events heading level one. Combo, combo, combo. 60 article end. Article. Heading level two. Link 31 mark. Heading level 2 link 2023 conference on left quote disability rights blank welcome to a conference on blank heading level 2 link 2020 enter so I'm main going region now article on region 31 mar 20 and then i have search button to manage consent but wrapping the top search I button to last i know that on our website air resources air raquel riyadh air register register and I will show it why I know, because I know, yeah, of course, when you are used to a website, um, you go daily or I don't know, quite often on it. So it helps me. I know if I go in my list of links, I go on R. It was the third or something like that. It, it depends, but I know I will find Enter. it. So now. Mozilla Firefox. Dialogue. Modal dialogue. I will be on the forms mode. On the um, oh. you are on Twitter now. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Left Maybe parent I'm... nineteen, right parent start vagina slash Twitter. No, I shouldn't. Go. Close document there? window. Conference on yeah. left quote disability. Sorry, Sorry yeah. Lilana. Sorry, yeah. Lilana. Just for a matter of time, because we, yes. uh, we need to give the chance to the uh, exactly. audience. Yeah, to I'm share. sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, that's fine. No, no. Just for, um, uh, yeah, for the, the, this part, um, you might to show also the, the table. The tables. Just yes, very yeah. quick. And then we go back to Let's the accessibility assessor, and then we're done. And then we give the, um, the floor to exactly. The yeah. Let okay. me show you the table. So this, now I think you, you got why I'll it's get important on the website I'll to, I'll to I'll have I'll clear documents. because it's... RRF news guide, new RRF, the 25 and I'm going back to the 25% document. Edit, type and text. And um, I'm just looking quickly for the table because there are, there was a table that I wanted to show you. It's It's very... Oops. So even even this one, I think it's not, but it's not that one, it's at the end. I will show you quickly. I'm sorry. Oops. Yeah. I'm almost there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess, Loredana, you don't have addings uh, on this report. Yeah, it's... Oh. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's that one, yeah. <laughs> Do not read the document radio. Read the entire do not read the doc read the entire document radio button checked. Do, do not read the read the currently visible page tab. Reading order colon tab. Remember my shift tab left dash to dash tab. Remember my tab. Confirm pass the twenty-five percent dash your country and percent left. Table 1 colon country of residence left parent and colon 47 appendix. Table 1 colon country Albania, Austria, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina. So normally what I want to underline that you have on, uh, so it's uh, table 1 countries of residence a number of uh, ideas I suppose collected and uh, I don't know the other number what represents. 
but it reads me instead of going on on a row basis i don't know how it was made it reads me first bulgaria croatia cyprus Czech, denmark oh, Estonia, the... finland france germany greece hungary italy poland lithuania malta montenegro poland portugal romania serbia slovenia spain sweden turkey total missing i prefer total one seven two four two hundred thirty two goes to the number so it makes no sense this is why it's important it's so important how um you you make these tables because i'm even don't know i don't see the um, lines between the rows so i even don't know how 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 it was made um this table and this is also relevant so that's um uh, why I wanted also to, to to show it. It's also relevant. I know that often in research papers, um, they are using, they, they put the, um, the text in three column styles and sometimes you have the intro on one column and then it goes into two and then into three columns. So this is also something that makes more difficult reading the information if you didn't um indicate when and what how should be read then it will be um a nightmare for the for the person to to read um that information now i i will show you quickly the other table and then so this one is made um i think that is still okay spaces Bullet provide places where young people can be themselves and express freely. Bullet youth spaces are related to safety and care. Bullet youth spaces are related to creativity and opportunities. Bullet youth spaces are related to full engagement and empowerment. Affordable. Not be grouped in the other themes. Not be grouped in the other themes. Not be grouped in the other not be grouped in the other themes. Where am I reading that? Under I guess. Ah. Categories not grouped in the other. So even not me, not me I even don't know team. how Tab. not me, not me grouped I'm in the blocked other somewhere and I don't know if I not grouped in the other. I cannot even go further. So just to see the, Alert. the charisma trend has left the meeting. The relevance. Alert. Okay, so I will stop. And then uh, I think it's the um, checker, accessibility checker. Yes, Roberta? Yes, there is an accessibility checker, a couple of slides. You to do that because you know it better. You okay, don't. so uh, I'll be very quick uh, with accessibility check and give the, the floor to the audience. So um, we have this kind of um, um, button, really important button uh, to, to click on when you finish. Uh, it, as I said at the beginning, if you have the element to consider to create a document accessible, it's great. But um, do every time you, you finish a document or PowerPoint presentation, use the accessibility checker. It's a button that if you click, uh, it will show you what is the um, what you did right and what you did wrong in terms of accessibility. So it's really uh, easy to, to see accessibility checker um, is, um, is the button in the review tab. If you don't see the accessibility checker, depend of the version of your um, of your uh, Word document, the yeah, Word um, Microsoft uh, program. If you don't see the check accessibility button on the review tab, you have to follow these steps. You have to go to uh, you have to select file info and select the check for issues button. You should have also in the in the review tab immediately. Um, the accessibility checker, why is important? Because it um, will show you the error that you can make. Uh, and there are three categories, the errors, warnings, and tips. So it will um, tell you the error and also how to fix the error. For, for instance, if you d didn't um, describe the images of the picture, it will tell you that the, this is an error because it's not accessible and it will tell you how to do it. So it's really important to, I suggest you check all the time at the end of uh, the, the document, the report you, you finished, um, also the PowerPoint presentation, because it, it can 
help you to make the, the document accessible. Follow the tips, but also at the end, check all the time. They are very good um, um, inside uh, features, accessibility features in this program. So use it all the time because it, it, it can help you to make the document, the report um, and PowerPoint accessible. Um, so we said, uh, it's important to, you have to make sure the original Word document is accessible and when you convert in a PDF, the, the PDF will include all the accessibility um, tips like uh, adding structure, alternative text for images, list and table. So it's going to um, maintain uh, all what you, let's say, all the, um, the elements you considered at the beginning also in the, the Word in the PDF. <laughs> Um, so Loredana did a demonstration. The last thing we suggest uh, to do is to download the accessibility toolkit. Uh, if you go to the website or EDF website, we have a different toolkit that you can download. Um, how to make a Word document accessible, PowerPoint, social media and online events and also video. So they are really, uh, really nice and let's say easy to read. Uh, guide toolkits um, it, they are not too technical so very very easy to to follow the instruction and there is also the social media toolkit it's quite, it's, it's quite important because you can't find the recommendation in the guidelines and in the WCAG guidelines and um, yeah we suggest to download and they can guide you to make um, your communication more accessible um, 